So I'm gonna be starting a lawn care series because I started a mowing service and I wanna have people be able to look at what I do um, and what I can provide to them. But in saying that, I wanna show you guys my backyard right here. So if you look around, you see a whole bunch of spots and, and things like that. It's basically been ran down by the dogs because they're out here all the time. And I, I'll put a picture right here or right here, but the lawn was immaculate last year. I put a whole bunch of Kentucky uh, bluegrass down and it was very long, very lush, but then I got another dog and another dog and they were pooping all over and it was hard to keep up with. Plus they run back and forth and damaged the grass quite a bit. But I'll take you on to the front. So as you see, my front yard is substantially better than the backyard. Obviously the dogs run up front, pooping and peeing and running around. But I also do have a couple dead spots that I have been working on since the beginning of spring and during the cool weather. I put a whole bunch of seed down, um, come on this way. As you see right here, we have a, a lot of new green grass that's that's coming up that's from the seed i put down we still have some patches to fix right here and right here but all this is all new green grass that's coming up new seed right here and what i did was i put a whole bunch of seed down and then i put hay on top of it to help germinate and um, prevent squirrels and birds from picking picking at the seeds and getting them up and basically wasting the, the money so next i have this area which is still being worked on i just got done cutting but this is still being worked on. I cut and mulch down the hay until it basically disappears and then whatever's left of it, I'll put um, I'll put away in the trash or whatever. So like I said, I just cut and as you can see out there, it's really full. I plan on doing in the fall a leveling because this it has a lot of low spots um, around the yard. So I'll do some leveling and then uh, this should be about a five to 10 video series. So you guys can stay tuned. Um, I'll show a couple good, uh, good lawns that I mow and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, you ready? Okay. So for the lawns that uh, I mow, I've been using this right here, Ryobi. It's battery powered uh, electric. But the problem I run into, some of the lawns I do is uh, are a little bit larger, and it's about $200 for just the battery alone. So that kind of adds up. So what I do is for the small lawns, I use the battery powered, but for the big lawns, I plan on purchasing today, and I'll get that on film as well, a Toro. Um, it's gas, but doesn't need an oil change, and it's very, very nice. Uh, Self-propelled, so it helps me out for when I'm going up hills and things like that. So. Uh, but this is good enough for my my lawn. It's good enough for anybody's lawn that's smaller. It gets uh, two batteries, get me uh, about an hour, hour and a half. Um, but other than that, if it takes any longer than that, then I'm gonna have to switch and have a backup. So this will be, become my backup, and then I'll use the Toro primarily, uh, unless it's a small lawn. about this lawnmower is it's very quiet it almost sounds like a vacuum cleaner um, so that allows me to be able to go out to properties early in the morning without getting any noise violations or any complaints so I can get work done 7 30 in the morning and start and get out there so a lot of lawnmowers are way louder this is like I said very quiet so when mowing today I wanted to do a different design so I went vertical uh, east to west and then I went south to to north or north to south whatever you want to say and it looks really good 
but um, this is just something I'm trying out uh, to make a different design. I normally don't like to put too much stress on the lawn and just every every uh, other time, every other mow, I switch it up and change the, the direction I go. I also would like to, at some point, get my grass looking like the Kauffman Stadium because when it comes to leveling and making it really green and having those really dark and really light greens, that's my goal for this lawn by the I don't know by the end of summer, that would uh, be pretty hard, but by at least next spring, it should all be grown in, all be leveled out and uh, to in full. So I'll try to get as much video as I can uh, in all the free time I, I do get, so. Rocky! What's up? Hey. Another cool thing is once I'm done cutting grass, if they want me to bag it, I take it off of their hands and put it in the chicken coop. And they have a blast with it, pecking at it all day. As long as the grass hasn't been fertilized or treated, they can have the grass clippings. I think they're gonna like this new bedding. A lot of grass, soft, they can pick at. Sprinkle some food in there so they can move the grass around a little bit. Yeah, it looks, honestly, it looks nicer than the hay does. I mean, I'll keep using the hay, obviously, but yeah, it definitely looks nice. Just a dog enjoying their stick. All right, Ryan. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time. Time to get me a new lawnmower. Isn't she purdy? America's number one lawnmower brand. Right there, here we go. All right, so we got the Toro. Uh, this is the unboxing. Obviously, I already opened it up, but come in, <clears throat> see how it, see how it looks. I'm a I'm a little excited about it. It's foldable, just like my other lawnmower. I have a total of three lawnmowers now, and hopefully, I can hire somebody to help out with the bigger jobs and things like that. So, but this is it comes with a bag so I can bag people's grass actually this is a better bag than on my other lawnmower because that one only lasted about two to three months before it ripped so and those bags those can be <laughs> yeah don't <laughs> and don't let whatever he says just don't I those thought bags it can actually be remade and created very easily so they'll last forever <laughs> Yeah, that's... You can just make those. No, you can't make these. So, but uh, these are uh, some pretty good sturdy bags. So it comes with oil. Comes with, uh, I don't even know what this is called. I'm not going to even fake like I know. That's a filter can. That's not what this is. Please don't listen to the person in the background, but it comes with one of these. It kicks out the grass on the side. Let's take this bad boy out. Those, the tread on those tires, those things can actually go off-roading with that tire tread. Yeah, that's not true either, but I mean, it's meant for grass, so it's already off-road. Um, oh, sorry. This is it, though. Ain't she pretty? Oh Thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And this is only part two. And part two, wait. It's only part one and part two will be coming soon. Thanks, guys.